Good morning everybody, Lisa Strickland here. How are you today? I hope everyone's going along really well and that you're adjusting to life a little bit. I know the kids are back at school in regards to the whole homeschooling thing and I hope that everything's going well for you there as well. So today I wanted to have a chat to you about sleep because I know that there are a lot of people that are feeling quite stressed at the moment and sleep is such an important part of you know us regenerating and really looking after our bodies. So you know sleep is such an important part of you know making sure our body is regulated. So when we sleep you know all of our hormones everything it has an ability to be able to regenerate at night time. And so it's really, really important for us to get uh, about seven hours sleep is about the sweet spot for adults. Okay, usually teenagers a little bit longer, but for adults, about seven hours is, is that spot. Now, you know, it's really important for us, and especially with everything going on at the moment, that we are... Uh, having that and getting that really sound sleep and you know with all the um, pressures that we're feeling in regards to staying at home and dealing with you know kids and maybe working from home as well it's really really important for us to you know start to find a way of actually you know relaxing because our home has become our everything now, including our workspace. So actually enabling ourselves to find that time that we have at work and actually separating ourselves out. And the same is for the kids for the schooling as well. So, you know, being able to actually um, separate out our day within the same environment is, is quite difficult. And if... And, and by doing that, you know, we need to be able to, everything impacts our sleep. So we need to be able to sort of find those ways of separating the different things that we do during the day to make sure that we're actually able to regulate our sleep at night time. Because if we are trying to do everything and it all, you know, compounds on top of us, it's really going to affect our sleep. Sorry about my dogs. Um, so... You know, really thinking about how we are, you know, separating out our work life. So really making sure that if we are working from home that we have that separate space so that we can regulate how we're doing, you know, our day and really separating out that time, you know, getting outside and getting into the sun. Now that is probably tip number one because really we do need to get our sunlight to assist our bodies with sleeping, okay? So the way that, the, that our, our life and the day progresses, you know, we have the light, light and then we go into the dark at night time and that is working with our sleep. So for us to be able to spend a little bit of time outside, which is what I'm doing, this is my work day, so I am actually spending some time outside and getting some sunlight and some vitamin D, that is going to assist you with your circadian rhythms, which is what your body is in, in you know, rhythm with, with the way that the world works in regards to staying, you know, light and going to sleep at night time when it's dark. So it's really important for us to get that sunlight. So really getting outside, if you're in, a, in an apartment, get on your balcony, you know, get some form of sunlight is really important for your sleep at night time. Okay, so that's something that we really need to think about. And something I think at the moment, because we're spending so much time at home, it is something that we have to actually physically and mentally think about to do, you know. So make sure that you're getting outside, even if you work outside on, on a table outside in the sun for just a little bit of your day, or take the kids out if you're homeschooling, you know, potter around the garden, whatever you can do to get yourself in the sunlight. Go for that walk, and hey, it isn't it wonderful to see so many people out walking at the moment and really getting out and spending that family time. So that's really important to get out in the sunlight. 
okay because otherwise we're dealing with emotional exhaustion you know you're dealing with so many things at home at the moment it is really important for us to step back and take that time because that is how we're going to wind our bodies down so that we can get to sleep at night time okay number two is really looking at our food and I know that you hear this from me a lot but when we are you know in the situation we are we do emotionally eat you know a lot of people either emotionally eat or don't eat at all which is you know bad as well so we need to be trying to cut the sugar that we're eating in our diets and you know I know that the first thing that when we get a lot of people get stressed the first thing they're going to go for is all the sugary things and alcohol and those sort of things I'm not saying don't have it at all but just try and reduce it as much as possible because we are looking at boosting our immune system up but also we're looking at enabling our body to be able to sleep and if we're eating too many sugary things you're going to really impact your body so really think about that try and add you know some extra things in if you're cooking soups add lots of veggies in if you're having something try and have a salad with it as well just really thinking about how you can add smoothies are a really good way of adding nutrition into your diet there's lots of things that I'm doing at the moment in regards and on my monthly program where we're really getting stuck into you know lots of great snacks so if you want to get your kids eating lots of really good snacks and making things, you know, because I think it's really good for them to, you know, start getting, if they're even when they're younger, on a chair and starting to understand how they can put really good snacks together as well. You know, things are really great bliss balls. You can make really great smoothies, you know, lots of hummus. You can make lots of different dippy things with, with um, fruits and vegetables, you know. So really looking at assisting you your children and yourself to do this and we do do it in the monthly program if you're interested so just let me know and you know really you know food is such a big impact on us when we're doing this and we don't want to come out of uh, uh, hibernation or whatever you want to call it lockdown whatever you want to call it and have put on a few kilos you know we want to be making sure that we are actually getting healthier because this is a good time you know we might have a little bit of we haven't got that commuting if we are going to work so we don't have that extra time that we have to be in the car so it's a good time to actually utilize to give ourselves and our family great food now the other thing is getting some exercise so trying to get out there like i was talking about before and getting some exercise exercise is going to assist your body so what it does is it stabilizes your hormones it really kicks in the ones that that assist with inflammation in our bodies so when we're sitting around a lot we can tend to you know not when we're not moving all the time and especially when we're dealing with autoimmune issues you know our inflammation is just being compounded by the fact that we're sitting down all the time we're not moving around so just being able to go out you know on your street go for a walk take the dog for a walk if you have one the kids for a walk if you have the and just getting out and that's you know you're getting your sunshine at the same time and you're really moving your blood through your system which is going to help you to sleep at night time and regenerate your body properly at night time as well because your body has properly gone through the motions in the day to really assist yourself to kick in the hormones that you need to be able to wind down and you know it's it's just really really important yeah Kevin I yeah, it is good to see that everybody is eating healthier and I do believe that people are getting out and about a lot more and it's great to see people exercising more as well I'm hoping that that continues as you know as we go back to living you know a, a little bit more of a normal life and, and everybody getting back to work and school so you know so exercise is really important um, now of an, of an evening time getting off your screens you know earlier now at the moment we are spending a lot of time on our screens you know and you know it doesn't matter whether you think that you know that you're not as much you are it, it's we're sort of because we're closeted in we're watching more a little bit more tv we might be you know researching we're doing online shopping a little bit more so it's all spending more time on our screens so if 
you can try and do you know cut that back as you're heading towards your sleep time you need to be off of it at least an hour before that blue light from our phones our computers our tv everything all um, is it impacts our body and the rhythms in our body that assist us to go to sleep so we re need, really need to reduce the amount of blue light that we're getting closer to the time that we're, it's, we're going to bed. So really important. So try and come off those screens about an hour before. So, you know, it's really good to get yourself into a routine because your body is an amazing thing and it assists you to wind down at night time. Okay, so if you're doing that, something that you are actually got yourself into a routine, then your body knows that it's going to bed. You need to do it for a little bit and really get yourself into a time that you're going to go to bed um, because you'll find, and you think about it, when you do a nine o'clock a night and you say, right, I'm really tired tonight, I've got to go back, go to bed at nine. And then the next night, maybe you go to bed at 11.30. How do you feel in the morning? You know, it, 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 your body's telling you that you need to do that regularly because you feel... You, you feel so much worse in the morning and even if you don't think about how you are at the end of the other end of the day so at the other end of the day instead of sort of working or doing whatever you're doing and you're still feeling quite good until three three or four o'clock in the afternoon five o'clock maybe for some instead by one o'clock if you haven't slept properly or you've gone to bed at 11 30 at night you know how do you feel by one o'clock you have lunch and you're ready to go to bed you know so it's all about thinking about how it impacts your body during the day and actually being self-aware because self-awareness is but not just being self-aware but also you know taking the steps to actually do something about it because we are you know we can be self-aware and then we ignore what our body's telling us and so try while we're, you know, in this situation, this is a time to create wonderful new habits. So just try and spend that time to really think about how you can get yourself into some sort of a routine that's actually going to work with you when you do go back to work as well. You know, and I'm not talking about your daily routine as much as I am your evening routine. Because once we get ourselves into those habits, it, it actually is something that we then, you know, can continue on after everything goes back to normality. So really, you know, work on doing that now while you've got that time at home and you can actually think about it. All right, so one of the other things that I love doing at night time is my aromatherapy. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, we're talking about essential oils, okay? So you've got some things that you can diffuse, okay? And this is a diffuser, just showing you. So for those of you who really like, you know, diffusing oils or you haven't done it before, try it out. Even if you get some lavender oil or something like that, um, lavender oil is really good to relax you and just pop it in, put a little bit on your temples, you know, and um, I tend to go temples um, and behind my ears, I rub a little bit on my chest and under, I love it under my nose because I love the smell. Okay. So if you're a little bit more sensitive to smell, then don't put it under your nose, but just put it around you and put it into a diffuser. It's easier, okay? And you can regulate the amount that you put in there and get used to the, the, the strength that you prefer. So using those sort of things as aids, you know? Aromatherapy is the original medicine, you know? The, the, these are the essence from, from plants and flowers. So something that is natural that we're putting into our system, you know. So really using those sort of things that are there. Things like meditating, if you can meditate. You know, there's some great apps out there that you can use that have beautiful music with all sorts of different sounds that you can use. So these are all the different things and the steps that you can take to assist yourself to relax enough to go to sleep. A great Epsom salts bath or a foot bath, you know, just finding that routine and getting yourself to wind down at night time. Now, if you're having trouble with waking up at night time, then, you know, a little bit of magnesium cream, uh, a lavender oil, it does assist your body to wind back down. Now, if you're having trouble with waking up with things, with worries and things, try and have a pen and paper by the side of your bed. Just write a few things down. Um, so that you can, you know, get them out of your head. You know, there's lots of different things that you can do. 
And really, you know, I'd love you to come into my group that I have. We talk about food a lot, but we talk about other things as well. So really, I'll pop that in up underneath this video. But really starting to think about how you can wind down. Look, it is difficult and sleep can be elusive, you know. So we need to get, take all these different techniques that we can and try everything one by one and see how they can assist us. We are all different and we all do, you know, react to things differently. So you just have to find that thing that works for you. So really think about how you can, you know, wind down at night time and get yourself some sleep. Do try not to sleep too much during the day if you have trouble at night time. You know, if you can break that habit, if you do nap in the day, for those of you who are at home or retired and that have trouble sleeping at night time, don't have naps during the day. And this is going to impact people that have the ability to do that at the moment because we're not actually um, going to work and you might have a break from your work and have a nap. Try not to do that because that will impact your sleep at night time as well. All right, so just, you know, watch back this video, look at all the different things that I've talked about and really start to implement some things if you're having those sleeping trouble. You know, please reach out to me if you wanna go through anything, that's what I'm here for. And, you know, step through everything. And if you want to step into the monthly program, we talk about everything. We do cooking lives in regards to your food. We talk about sleep, aromatherapy, lots of different things that you have the ability to be able to do. So I'd really, you know, T reach out to me and let me know I'll pop in a link below say yes whatever you want to PM me you know that's what we're here we're here to support each other in this time and moving forward so I really really love helping you know people to get where you know that's why I do what I do because I love what I do and it's really important to help each other you know, it's, I've always been that way, but now is the time to really reach out to each other. And I would love to hear from you. All right, take care. Look at all the steps that you can do to really start thinking about how you can get a better quality sleep. And let me know how you're going. Reach out to me. So take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.